Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Covering the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today we're going to be talking about Taro. T-A-R-O. I've mentioned it in a few of my videos. It's a permaculture crop for any uh, hardiness zone below zone 8, uh, probably zone 7 as well. They do good unless they freeze. Anything above zone 7, they probably ain't going to make it, so you shouldn't have it. Anything that has to be brought in in the winter is a decoration. My channel ain't about decorations, about food. So down here, taro is food. Taro is also known as dashin, or around here as elephant ears. People have told me elephant ears and taro are two different plants. You cannot eat elephant ears. That is a lie. Taro and elephant ears look the same, taste the same, smell the same. And I've had them boiled, I've had them fried, I've had them baked. Same exact thing. In fact, they taste like potatoes just don't have the texture of a potato, which I like, but that's all right. I can do without a little bit if I get to live. This is what they look like. Now here, actually, this is what they look like when they're growing. And from what I understand, you can eat the leaf as well as the root, but the root is where you're going to get your carbohydrates. In this country, when we think of carbohydrates, we think of corn, potatoes, and rice. But that is a very small percentage of the world that actually has access to those things. Most people have access to this or maybe cassava. I can't grow cassava, so it's not going to be found in my yard. It'll grow. As long as I take it in in the winter, I ain't going to do that. But if you live in zone 10, 11, or 12, you need to look into growing cassava as well. Now, these things are uh, from, the, from the Chinese grocery store, Asian market, and they're green on top because they're trying to sprout. Now, for somebody that's wanting to buy this to eat, that's, that's not acceptable. But for if you're growing them, that's the best thing because you know it's still alive. If you buy one that ain't green on top, you may be getting something that just ain't going to grow. But we're going to grow these. All we're going to do, stick shovel in the earth, move it aside enough to make a hole, stick that in there, cover it over. And there, that's it. And that will make us some food. And in a very short amount of time, it'll double. And then it'll double again, it'll double again, and it's... And before long, all of this will be elephant ears. As long as far as your eye can see, elephant ears with a little bit of ferns. Carbohydrates. Not the ones you're used to, but if, it's, if you live where I live, it's the ones you need to get used to. If you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. 